Welcome back, everybody. Fine dining has been redefined since the pandemic hit now about 11 months ago, Sarah. And now the owner of a national steel company is trying his hand at capturing that new definition in Northeast Ohio. Our Doug Trantner gives you a front row seat at the now open Last Page. Today we're checking out a new restaurant in Pinecrest called The Last Page. Beautiful. Uh, it's owned by Todd Lebo, CEO of Majestic Steel, who's branching out into the food business. Let's check it out. This concept really embodies different cuisines, different cultures. What I believe Cleveland was, Cleveland has a rich history, but also what I think it needs to be and should be. It's interesting because it used to be, you, you knew right away if something was quote unquote fine dining, and if it wasn't, right? You had a, you know, your corner pub and you had your burger places, and then you had the really nice expensive ones. Now we're seeing more of a blend. Yeah, so we call it Choose Your Own Adventure. Um, we're open seven days a week. We open at 11, uh, and then on Saturday and Sunday, we offer brunch. And so the idea is come here, eat, drink, meet, hang, celebrate. You told me before we, we sat down here that you've been working on this space for what, two years? Yeah, a little over two years. And I'm sure the, the, the idea, the germ has been uh, growing even longer than that. Yeah. So COVID comes around, uh, does that change your plans? Yeah, those that know me, uh, I like to zig when others zag. So uh, when COVID hit, obviously uh, it set us back. It, it pushed our timeline back. However, um, we believe that post COVID, there's gonna be a lot of opportunity. And so, you know, from that perspective, we saw it as let's be patient, let's see how things play out, but let's open when we're ready. Hey Todd, this is a beautiful space. Walk us through it a little bit. What have you got going on? Yeah, thank you, Doug. Uh, our team worked on this space for a little over two years. Uh, the last page is really designed like a theater. So we have our main bar, which is like our main stage, uh, where our bartenders are featured as mixologists. And then we have our booths, which are like suites, and then center stage. So center stage is like the, the floor of the theater. So your kitchen just brought out some beautiful food. What do we have here? Yeah, so here we have our Mediterranean bowl. Our Mediterranean bowl is served over a, a bed of hummus. Uh, and house-made grilled pita. And then we also have our crackling ghost wings. So our crackling ghost wings, uh, crispy, uh, and then the uh, seasoning is made in-house. It's a sweet and spicy uh, seasoning served with an umami ranch. So it's a Japanese play on ranch. Cleveland gets a reputation as being somewhat old school, meat and potatoes stuck in its ways. Are you gonna nudge people out of their comfort zone? It's global influences modern American cuisine. So what does that mean? You know, when you think about modern America today, modern America is a melting pot from all over the world. And if you think about since the Prohibition era, we've experienced so many different things in terms of cultures, cuisines, hospitality, service, and we really want to embody all of that.